Hey everyone, with the new versions of CSP there are some awesome tools available and of course there are some great traffic mods now coming out. So I covered 2 Real by Tominator21 recently and today I'm covering another one of his mods and that is the Shotoko Tatsumi version of the map. So this is over 25 kilometers of traffic and as you can see here it's absolutely awesome. So today I'm going to show you from the start how to install this, how to install all the new traffic parts as well as all of the new traffic cars and don't worry guys it's not too complicated we just need to go through it step by step as ever if you are new here do check out the rest of the channel there's so much more sim racing on there including lots of a set of core set guides mod installs and all of those all important soul csp and pure tutorials okay let's jump right in then and before we go into all of the traffic mods you probably saw me driving a really cool r34 there so let's jump into that first and i'm going to show you a car. So those of you that know your R34s and of course the films Fast and Furious will know that this is Paul Walker's R34 from Too Fast Too Furious. This is from 2002, it's at version 1, 455 brake horsepower, 1290 kilograms. This is a very fast car. Now as ever with all the mods I do like the details and when you look internally on this car it's got some really cool internal details and these are off the film. So you can see here we've got a lot of nitrous oxide and all the dashboards are correct and it's got the neons underneath. Okay, it's not for everybody. It looks pretty cool though. So this is the car I'm going to be driving in the video and the links are in the description. And all the links from this are from SimRace247 so do check those guys out for all the latest Sim Racing news. So I'm going to start from the beginning and this is off one of my recent tutorials about how to install the traffic mod itself. So to get this working in the new versions of CSP and this is running 1.8 preview you do need to download some files and actually switch this on all of these links and files are actually hosted on race department and i'll put the links underneath here and tominator 21 puts very clearly here what you need to do so there's some files to download and then you're going to drag and drop them into csp tools and i'm going to show you how to do that in a moment and then we're also going to switch it on in a content manager once we've done that then we can actually use the tool in the game and i can show you how the traffic works and we're also then going to install all of the pieces for shitoko so when you download these first files this is what it's going to look like you're going to get a little data folder once you've extracted it and this is what it's got in there so so you can see it's only got two cars in here and I'm going to show you how to add all the other cars but if you don't want to add all the other cars you can just do it this way so this just gets you up and running so here I am with my Assetto Corsa root directory Steam games Steam library Steam apps common Assetto Corsa we need to go into extension and then when you look through there you're going to see Lua so we're going to click on Lua and then you're going to see tools double click on tools and you can see there you've got CSP Railworks tool and CSP Traffic tool. Um, the CSP Railworks tool I'm not sure about yet, but the Traffic tool is the one we're going to go into. And you can see you've got some files already in there. All we're going to do is um, copy this data section into here. So it's just a drag and drop. So if you've never done this before, this is the first thing you need to do. If you have done this before, you don't need to do it again. So that's really important. So to double confirm, you only need to do this once. If you've already done this piece, you don't need to do it again. Then go into settings, go into custom shader patch and go into GUI. And what we're doing is we need to make sure that we have ticked the box that says point and click objects inspector. You can see it's down here. Now I've already got this ticks because I've installed this before. So just make sure there's a tick in there and then you'll be able to access this in game. If you don't click on that box, you won't be able to access this in game. So really important that that box is ticked. So now that we have completed the basic steps and you only need to do that once for the whole mod, not each different track, just for the whole mod, the next thing to do is to download the Tatsumi Realistic Traffic Simulation mod. And you can see there's some brilliant screenshots on here and I know the Tominator 21 has got some great videos as well, so do check those out. Now there is a tutorial there that talks you through what I've just done um, and it's really important to understand that this is a manual process. This is not drag or drop or anything like that. There's also a link to the Patreon site on here which has even more traffic mods, so do support all the modders, I always say that. But remember to click on the download button there to download that 
that file. The next place we're going to go to is the Shotoko Discord channel and here when you click on the invite and you get access to this um, site you will be able to download the newest car pack and that includes all the traffic pack that I'm using today. So you only need this if you want all the traffic, if you just want a couple of cars you can use the bit that we did earlier. The next place to go is 2 Reels Traffic Patreon site and this part is free so you can now download the config files to run all of that different type of traffic that we've just downloaded from the Shotoko Discord channel. So instead of using just a couple of cars like we set up right at the beginning, I'm going to show you how to set up all of the other different types of traffic, 27 different cars. So at this point I'm assuming you've installed the 27 cars that you've just downloaded from Discord, from Shotoko Discord, and now we've got these config files that we've just downloaded from the Patreon site. As you can see there's a number of data sets here that we're just going to drag and drop like we did earlier on in the video and um, so we just need to copy these into the root area of a set of courses so i'm going to show you how to do that so if we just move this across here so we're going to go into extension and we're going to go into lua again just like we did at the beginning of the video we're going to go into tools and we're going to go to csp traffic tool again so remember we copied those couple of car pieces in earlier on, well now we're going to copy all of this in and this will give you the configs for all of those different 27 cars, not just the two cars. But before we do that, just to be extra safe, we're going to copy the CSP traffic tool root folder and we're just going to paste it onto the desktop just to make sure we've got a copy. So therefore if anything goes wrong here, you've always got your original copy just to drag back. So now we've done that, we're going to copy all of this new data over and we're just going to say yes, we're going to replace these 100 files in there. It might not say 100 files for you, but if it says copy over any files, just say yes. So that's just about it for all of the traffic pieces. Now what we need to do is actually install the config for the track. So we've got all this way through the video, now we've got to the config for the track. So if we go into common a set of course at content and tracks and we're looking for the Shotoko tracks. Now depending on how it's installed it would normally be under SRP or it could actually just be under Shotoko. So let's have a quick look. So we've got Shotoko Revival Project here and what we need to do is make sure it's the right track. So this is Tatsumi. Don't copy it in any of the other folders. It won't work correctly. So let's open up the file that we downloaded from Race Department. Remember a few steps ago and we've got an install readme piece here. So here it tells you very clearly where you need to put this but I'm just going to make sure that we put it in the right place here. So we need to go into data and this is where we're going to drag and drop these couple of areas or just copy and paste them in. So we've got services and traffic.json. So we copy those in, replace, yes. And that's it, that's all done, it's all set up. Now the last thing to say is that when you actually run this, you do need to run it just in practice. So I've just started the game and I'm in practice and I'm ready to go. I've just pressed F7 and I've come out of the car. Now if you click on the four little dots at the top right hand corner, you'll see that you can look down all the apps and if you look right at the bottom, you can see that you've got Object Inspector. So if you click on Object Inspector, it will bring you another pop-up box. And then you click on Tools. And right at the bottom there, when you've clicked on Tools, you'll see Traffic Planner. That's what we need to be clicking on. So if you click on Traffic Planner, cars will automatically start to appear and you can see some of them appearing in the distance. So when I started this, because I've used it before, it had over 400 cars and it was a little bit clunky. This is a huge map, remember, and I'm running all of this at 4K. So I've put it down to something more reasonable, 100, 200, 150. So you really need to check this out for your computer because you can see even though these are traffic models, there's still a lot of detail moving around. But look how good this looks. So Tominator 21 has done an awesome job of planning all of this traffic and I know it takes a lot of hard work so a big shout out again. But it's great looking at this traffic from afar but we do need to jump in this R34 and take a real good drive down here. So let's take a look at the R34 in action with Tominator's 2 real traffic mod. So 
from the standard CSP traffic that I know a lot of people have been using, which can limit you to five or 10 cars, this actually gives you many, many more cars to weave in and out of. The density is much higher and it draws it much further into the distance and around you. One thing to point out that this will only work while you're driving the car, so you can be in first person like I am now, or you can be outside of the car, but if you do put it on replay, you're not gonna see the other cars. This is still a very new tool, lots of development still to do, but this is definitely a massive improvement from some of the traffic that we've seen in the past. Really putting your foot down in this is fantastic. And of course, a lot of people have been driving this in VR as well. Imagine this in VR, some of the new tools in CSP and making that much more special too. Of course, this also works at nighttime and I have got some nighttime footage on here and it works full with all the rain integration too if you've got one of the preview editions of CSP. So I am running 1.80 CSP here preview and I'm also running the latest version of Pure 1.48 and the latest version of Sol 2.2.5. Do check out the rest of the channel if you want any more information on how to install those. So that's it guys, I hope you've enjoyed this video and I hope that step-by-step -step guide will get you up and running with this fantastic new traffic from 2Real Traffic, Tominator 21. Brilliant, support the modders and I'll see you guys very soon.